back. My name is Becca and this is Shadow who is impatiently waiting for her marshmallows. Um, this is a surprise video. We are just going to do haul because I have so much that um, I figured I would just do one since it's been a week since I've done a video. So this will be an insane amount of haul and um, a couple of giveaways thrown in. And then next Wednesday, I'm going to do or my fall and Halloween tour with a couple of giveaways thrown in. And then I'll do a live on Halloween with some giveaways um, to celebrate. I've reached over 3,000 subscribers and Halloween is my one year. So I look forward to all those videos. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I have gained quite a few. So thank you all so much for giving my channel a chance. Um, I think I forgot to say what my channel name was. It's Sam Bree Stitches here on Flossoup and Instagram. Uh, Shadow kind of threw me off because she was being a little impatient for the marshmallows today. Um, and welcome back to all my returning subscribers. You guys know that you are absolutely amazing and I adore each and every one of you. I feel like we have become family basically. Um, there are many of you that have been with me from day one and have been so supportive and so loving and I just appreciate it. I love the comments. Um, I reply to all of them. The uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter interview, there were just too many for me to comment on each one so I just hearted them all uh, but I did read them, each and every one of them. So um, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the interviews. Just a quick little recap of my week. Um, I uploaded my video last Wednesday. What, basically the day that I was driving down to Portland. I stayed at my sister's house. She's about 45 minutes from Acorns and Threads. And we celebrated my niece's uh, birthday. Um, it was late, but I still gave her a gift and um, picked up dinner. And we had a good time and I stitched and hung out there. And then Thursday, I drove the 45 minutes up to Acorns and I met up with some of my closest friends that I just love and adore. Um, Audrey, who is Stitchy Witch 42. Uh, originally, I offered her um, lunch because she was celebrating her work anniversary and they didn't really do much of anything for her. And I thought that was kind of cruddy. So I said, um, let's meet at Acorns and do our lunch at McMinimins and I will buy your lunch for you as a celebration. Um, and then Anna, who is Stitch Roadies and Quilt Roadies, y'all know and love her. Um, I adore her. And uh, she, we were celebrating her birthday. She's celebrating her birthday all month long, but her birthday was actually the day before. So it was pretty close to celebrating on her birthday. Uh, so I brought her a gift um, and so did a couple other people. We had, we had a good time. And Fiona from Fiona's Craft Cottage drove up. That's the first time we met in person. Um, she's been attending the Zoom meetups that I host, I think, from the beginning. So we've become friends, but it was just really nice to meet her in person. And she brought her fabrics in the back of her car, which was awesome. So I grabbed a piece that I've been wanting, and I'll show that here. Um, she does hand dye fabrics and, and sells them so I'll link her down below she also has a floss tube um, and then Robin Lady Robbins she drove well she was down there for um, an appointment and uh, so she shopped with us in acorns and then her and her husband joined us for lunch so that was a lot of fun I'm not going to remind you of the date that you should remember Robin because Audrey got you on her video so if you watched hers you'll have the reminder <laughs> We have come up with quite a few inside jokes. It's just a, it's a pretty amazing group. Um, so I met up with those ladies and while we were there, there was a lady that was waiting to go into Acorns. I think she said she had been there since 915. She was visiting. Um, so we met Cindy Earnhardt um, at Acorns. And so it was really nice to meet you. It was so cool because uh, she had recognized me even with the mask and I was just like, I was shocked and it was just kind of cool too. Um, so I decided that we're going to take a selfie. So I'll insert the picture here. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, just to meet somebody else. Uh, we let her go in first. Um, but 
we got there just before the store opened so Anna, Audrey and I are up against the window tapping on it doing open 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 and so Janine came in and opened the door a little bit early and gave us uh, candy <clears throat> she handed out M&Ms and said trick or treat so it was pretty cool yes we did wear masks uh, Janine is very strict about that. There can be four people in the store besides staff. You have to hand sanitize before you enter. It's right up by the door and we all wore masks the whole entire time. So um, we even took our selfie with masks on. And there goes Shadow because God forbid somebody walked by the backyard. And then after Acorns, everything was fine until Friday night. I had a filling fallout of my upper molar. And I was like, okay, whatever. Well, the pain started when I was at work on Saturday, working eight hours retail, trying to sell and talk to people while having pretty nasty, severe tooth pain it was not fun. So I took some good medication um, to help me through Saturday and Sunday shift. And then of course, Monday was a holiday. So I went three days with excruciating tooth pain that shot up into my nasal cavity and into my brain is what it felt like. Um, and then they got me in yesterday, which was Tuesday, and turns out that I had a pretty nasty, severe infection. Apparently severe infections run in our family. Also root canals run in our family. So not only did my filling fall out, but um, my tooth broke as well. I had a nasty infection on top of needing a root canal. So what they did, because they didn't have enough time yesterday, was they did a partial fix, um, but the pain is gone. They had to, they shot me three times with a needle to numb me. And then she started drilling away and doing whatever she needs to do. And because of my age, she implied that I was old. <laughs> Apparently your nerves calcify or something calcifies. It makes it more difficult to do dental work. So she was in there. I think my appointment started at 2.30 and I didn't leave till five. So it was, it was a good amount of time. Um, she started drilling and I wasn't completely numb. I think that's part of a Blake Shelton song. <laughs> and I'm pretty close to saying, I was pretty close to saying what Blake Shelton said in his song um, about it. But then they had to pause and then they had to stab me a couple more times, but this time they didn't do the numbing stuff that they do prior and it was in the roof of my mouth so I was in some pain last night because of the five shots that they had to do but I'm much better now I'm a little tender um, and I have to go back at the beginning of November actually on my husband's birthday to get the other half done and have it not temporary fix so hopefully everything goes smoothly. I want to thank you all for the well wishes. Many of you messaged privately to check on me. Um, I appreciate all of you. I put it up in my Insta stories um, just to let people know. And I just, I got a lot of love. So thank you so much for that. All right. That is my week. Um, it's been a fun week. I, I think I always just have some sort of eventful weeks and I just can't help it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Let's get on to the um, the goodies. That's what y'all are here for, all the haul. So I have a bunch of stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna start with my acorns haul just because it's closest to me. Um, just a little public service announcement. Acorns and Threads now has a floss tube channel. I was so excited uh, when Janine was talking about, you know, doing it and thinking about it. And I know she got a lot of encouragement from a lot of us and they made um, a channel. I think there's like five videos I've watched um, introducing like all the ladies that work there and, and cool little items that they have. Um, <clears throat> so go check it out um, and you're going to love them. Janine is just awesome and I'm so glad that they're on Floss Tube now. So more enabling. That's what it is. More enabling. So acorns haul before i jump in the acorns haul my sister and i went to um, hobby lobby and we went to a couple other stores um, while i was visiting her i did not bring my hobby lobby haul up here i only got one piece and it's for finishing uh, my autumn alphabet uh, so i didn't bring that up because you all will see it during the live halloween video 
but we did go to home goods and of all things home goods had they had patriotic ray done do you know how much these go for on mercari i'm so excited to have them so i already have a usa cup that has the the red writing and the blue inside so i grabbed the brave that has the blue and the red inside and then america the beautiful they still have these they didn't have much fall stuff but they still had patriotic so i'm super super happy about that oh carl if you heard carl that um all right so i bought this because she had it strategically placed at the register <laughs> at the little table in front of the register hopefully it's coming through it seems a little dark but it's a needle slide and it's an owl and I bought more Pat Carson number 26 needles because those are like my favorites. I love Pat Carson's. I bought a whole bunch of floss. I'm not going to tell you all the colors or anything, but most of these are for um, a book that I got from 123 Stitch, a Blackbird Designs book. Um, so I got all those. And then there were a couple waiting for me in my bag that I have no clue um, what I needed them for, but I bought them. And because I started making Biscorn News, I thought, maybe I'll try a strawberry. So I saw this pattern, which is Erica Michaels, Naughty or Nice. And I am going to try to make a strawberry, y'all. Outside my comfort zone. And then, I mean, you can't resist the blue flower. This is Halloween Parade. I mean, she showed it in her, Janine showed it in her, the blue flower floss tube channel. And I had them put that in my bag. And then of course, Haunted by Misty Purcell. Luminous Fiber Arts. Sleepy Hollow from Hello from Liz Matthews. And I have a whole nother list to send to Acorns because of the new releases from Teresa Kogut and with I Needle and Thread. And then I get this monthly usually sent to me, but I just told them to keep it in my bag since I was driving down because that's a lot for them to ship. So the Punch Needle and Primitive magazine. And then of course I had to pick up the bells on Christmas Day from Blackbird Designs because I love the, this one. And then I picked up the first two in the anniversaries of the heart. This is Snow Garden. My birthday is at the beginning of January, so I'm gonna make this block for me. I'm gonna take a page out of Olivia, um, out of Olivia's book from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Um, and then I got the second one of the anniversaries of the heart. And I'm gonna order, this is Valentine Rose. My husband and I, the, our first date was Valentine's Day, so that'll be our block. Um, and then I got the dear daughter because I have two daughters. So I need to stitch this twice so that they both have it. And y'all are going to be really proud of me because I told all the ladies there that there was no way that this was going to stay sealed. Y'all, it's still sealed. Look, proof. And today is October 14th. I don't know how much longer it's going to stay sealed. But this is for our Stitch Summit um, that Acorns and Threads was hosting. It was going to be an in-person um, stitching retreat down in Portland. And it was going to be my first one. And then, of course, COVID happened and it got canceled. And then because the fires were happening, they pushed back our Zoom uh, stitching retreat um, until the end of October, I think it is. Um, but it's still sealed for now. For now but i will not show it if i do open it early that is um, part of the deal do not show all right what do we move on next let's do stitchy kindness because um audrey is pretty awesome and she brought each of us and she made this specifically for me look at that look at that owl so she makes junk journals um and she has such a talent and such a creative imagination um and then she made a couple of these tags and she sells her pieces 
on her Instagram. She is stitchywitch42. So you should go and check her stuff out because it's amazing. Look, she like hand sewed this. Can you see that? I mean, she just has such an imagination. So I'm going to um, put this up with my Halloween stuff is what I'm going to do. Um, definitely this because I'm making a little owl section for my Halloween stuff. So thank you, Audrey. And you guys should go check out her stuff because um, and buy it all up. That's what she should do. She should go buy it all up. That's me enabling um, for sure. So Audrey brought us all um, gifts, which was really awesome and not expected. So thank you so much. Um, and then I received a surprise sweet package in the mail from my viewer, Kim. She likes to surprise me randomly uh, with packages every so often. So she sent me a beautiful card and a nice note. Um, and it's always just a lovely surprise when she sends me um, a package. And she sent me these, I think they're like teeny tiny little scissors. I didn't open them. Let's see if I'm uh, talented enough. Oh, it just slides open. Got it. Look at them. <laughs> They're like a little teeny. I love them so much. Oh my gosh, Kim. I've never had scissors this tiny. I love them. Um, so she sent me those scissors and then she sent the Sew by Row craft stitch with the floss. This is gonna be one of the giveaways um, probably during my live since it's a cool kit. So thank you so much for thinking of me, Kim. I just, I love your little surprises that you send. These scissors are just adorable. And then more stitchy kindness. Look at this card. I think it's like a cross stitch. I don't know if you can see in the video. It looks cross stitch to me. This is from Ruth and this is just a very, very, sweet note on the inside um she saw this bag and she said that she just had to get it for me and i mean it's a halloween bag but i'll be using it all year long look at this look at this fabric man if they had this at my joann's i would have grabbed it up and then the inside is polka dots and this bag in case any of you were wondering is from the silver scissors etsy shop so, and then not only did she send me the bag, y'all, she sent me some Ada. This is a big old piece of Ada, and it looks like it's 18 count. I might, I might try my hand at coffee and tea dyeing this because it's already kind of like a neutral brown. Can't mess it up. Never coffee tea died. And then she sent me this because acorns and threads. And it's so funny because this has been on my list of wanting to have because it says acorns and threads. And she said um, it was because of my LNS. So thank you so much, Ruth. Um, I know I messaged you because it was just an amazing surprise. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> Y'all wanted me to show my haul. So I'm gonna show my haul. I got lots of messages, so that's why I made this video. Um, but before I show some more haul, I'm gonna do a couple of giveaways tucked in here so that the people who watch um, will get to do the giveaways. But I'm gonna do one now and then one afterwards. So if you are a punch needle person, um, I got this from Goodwill, but it's so cute and I'm never gonna punch needle. So I'm going to do this as one of my giveaways and this is from Teresa Koga and it's punch needle um, and it's called got wool. So the keyword for this is going to be wool, W-O-O-L. And you know what, I'm going to make sure I write down these keywords. So that's giveaway number one. All right, more haul. I blame... Cheryl and Colleen, kind of Colleen specifically because she made the joke of um, this being a pasty and then they started laughing. Um, and this is so cute and I love it. And I really wanted one. And I was so worried that all the cool Halloween stuff was gone. And then this was the last one. Um, so this is from Under the Woolen Willow. 
everybody and their mother is buying from this shop right now. Um, and Michelle is the owner. And look what I bought. That's a little boot. I mean, it's so cute. And I can just go with my witch's stuff. So, um, I think I'll be buying more. Like, she just, it's so cute and prim and very well made. Um, so, but I joined the pasty club. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, go watch uh, Stitching with the Sisterlies, their video. I was just laughing and laughing and laughing. Um, I forgot to show these last week in my video, and I'm missing one because I used it for the autumn alphabet. I used the teal color. Um, but I got these silks from 1884 Stitchery. Uh, she is now carrying Vicki Clayton silks. So the teal one I used for the pumpkin in the autumn alphabet. But here's the colors that I got. So, um... That was from 1884 Stitchery that I just forgot to show in my haul last week. All right. Um, and then the piece of fabric that I got from Fiona, um, as she was showing it in the back of her vehicle, was is called Cappuccino Froth. And it's a beautiful, beautiful neutral. I got a large piece because all of a sudden, you know, me and samplers, and it's just a beautiful neutral that would be perfect for samplers. And of course, that's 18 count. I will link her down below. She doesn't have any rhyme or reason to what she puts in her shop. She just uploads what she dyes at the time. And they're all different and unique. She doesn't have, um, she, like she can't reproduce it perfectly. Probably close. Like this, I'm sure she could probably reproduce. Um, but her pieces are very unique. All right. And then I joined Needlecraft Corner is offering a Seraphim Fabric of the Month. And I was so excited. I got my first piece. But not only did they send um, the fabric, they sent a little gift. And then they sent, I can't show these, but they sent a whole bunch of little Halloween freebies. Which is so cool. Little freebie charts. Then they sent a gift which it's still in the plastic. Oh, pardon me while I rip this open. Ooh, can you see that? I don't know, it gets dark when I'm up and I can't see, but it says, uh, this is Liberty Hill. This is All Hallows Eve. It looks like it's hand painted. It's beautiful. And then on the back, it says Liberty Hill Bewitching Threads. But that was the gift that they sent. And it's so cute. And then the fabric, which I did not have this one, is 18 count Sunflower Fields. Look at that. Let me fold it in half so you can't see through it. Is that not beautiful? I have no idea what I'm going to put on it. But I think I joined the neutrals club. So I don't know if this, I mean, this is muted, but. But yeah, so that's beautiful. I told you guys I had a lot of stash. A lot of acquisition. All right, so we are on to um, Be Stitch Me's fabric that. I had a custom order in for and she threw in a gift. I'm not going to show you all of this because I've already been stitching on it. This is an opalescent one-off piece um, that she sent me and it's just beautiful. So I started my um, sal with uh, Hallie Stitching Big Things um, on this. It doesn't have a name. And then my surprise piece because I'll usually order a couple of pieces that I want in my stash and then I'll be like throw in a surprise piece for me and you know she'll charge me for three pieces and surprise me and this was my surprise piece and this is 18 count um it's non it's just regular it's not opal the opal one was a gift from her but is that beautiful it's like Halloweeny and gorgeous and then of course I ordered another 
a dirty chalkboard because um, I will be doing the uh, winter version of the chalk talk from Hands On Design. And I absolutely just love dirty chalkboard. And I ordered a half yard of Homeland. Homeland, look how huge that is. <laughs> it's a half yard. Um, Homeland is what I'm doing land that I love on. This originally was a custom hand dyed piece for me specifically for land that I love. Um, and then people started loving it. And then Brandy just started making it for everybody. Um, it is awesome. And so I want to do um, the patriotic, I think it's Abigail's something. It's a Blackbird Designs in their patriotic book. Um, I think I want to do it on this homeland. So, and now for some charts. These are just a mix. I think the first ones are from Stash Unloading. Um, I got Wicked Web. Somebody posted this on Stash and Loading, and I fell in love with it on Audrey's um, Instagram and Floss Tube. She stitched this, so I love it. And I think I'll also do the web and glow in the dark. Um, and then this one is from Haberdashery Designs. This is the Divination Sampler, and I love it. Is that this is not cute? A Ouija board. So there's that. And this was in Stash Group, and I have not started yet, and I don't know when, but I know Anna started this for her birthday. And so I picked it up because it was in the Stash Group. So look, Anna, we're twinsies. I have no clue when I'm going to start it. I don't even think I have fabric big enough for it. We'll see. And then I also picked up Vintage Animals. Look at that. I love this so much. Vintage animals from Jeanette Douglas, and then all things be exceedingly diligent needlework press. This is what Anna Stitch Rodies is stitching for her birthday sal, her birthday start. And then I picked up Yonder from Hello from Liz Matthews uh, because my good friends made by Michelle McGraw and Jen, I believe, from Stitching the Bluegrass are stitching this. I think those two are. But I love it. And it's like farm themed, so it will go with my decor. Um, I could not pass this up. I got this off of Etsy. I thought it was a PDF. It took a little while to ship to me. But uh, mixing it up with DBL is where I got it from. But it's the Turkey Biscogne. Look at that. Is that not just the cutest? Um, and that is from Designs by Lisa. I love this so much. I can't wait to stitch it for Thanksgiving. And then from 123 Stitch, that's what all the floss was for, was sisters. Because I think on Halloween, I want to start at First Cox Crow. So I got that from 123 Stitch. Um, I'm going to pause this because I forgot to bring up one very exciting piece of haul that I had that I forgot to carry up. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I can't believe I forgot this. It arrived. I was hoping it would arrive on Tuesday before I left to go down to Portland. But the Etsy shop that I bought it from is a long story. But it originally said seven to ten days and then they would ship. Well, it was a lot longer than that. And then when they did ship, he put in the wrong information. So it was going to a different part of Washington. Luckily I caught it and he put in an address change because it was with UPS and it took UPS three or four days before they acknowledged the address change. So this took a long time to get to me and I was kind of annoyed, but I understand with the system, everything that's going on. Um, but if you're an Etsy seller, I would double check and recheck to make sure that you're shipping something this expensive to the right address. So I was a tad bit annoyed, but in the end it all got to me. Um, and it is my Kay's Creation lap stand. It is amazing. 
So the reason I bought from this random Etsy shop, um, I did read the reviews and make sure that they were legit, was because they were having this like 30 or $40 off on sale. So it made it more reasonable for me to buy it. And then I think this is the Baby Z, I think, but it holds my key snaps in here. And then it can adjust and then you can still flip it over um, you know, to finish the backs and stuff because it all loosens up. This is a game changer. One, my arm pain has gone away. It is a miracle. It has gone away. Um, two, I am, I'm, I'm left-handed, so I hold my cue snap in my right hand constantly. So, and it's always in this position, and so the pain was really, really bad. And then I stitch. So, you know, up and then around and then down, whatever. But now my left hand's on the bottom, my right hand's on the top. And I just two hand stitch. And it is awesome. So I will put the link down. I want to say it's called Bee Creek or something like that. But I'll put the link down below in the box if you want to go check it out. Because it seems like they do sales a lot. Um, but they are legit. It just takes them a little while. Um, and this was definitely worth it. I think I paid just under 60 and I think it was free shipping which was good because the shipping took forever <laughs> so all right now I'm going to do my second giveaway and my second giveaway is basket full of winter time from with my needle and thread all right and the keyword for this let's see we got wool Let's do winter, winter. So to enter for this, just have the keywords say winter and this say wool. These aren't gonna get picked until my next video, which will be, um, hmm. Maybe I'll pick the winners in the 28th video, even though it's just going to be um, the tour. And then I'll do a couple more giveaways in that and pick them because it'll be easier um, because it'll be on multiple videos. I don't know. I didn't think this through. It's been a rough week. So. <laughs> so just make sure you do the keywords for these and I will draw for them on the 28th when I do the tour. Um, and then the 31st is my one year floss tube anniversary and I will be doing a live. I'm thinking about the time still because Saturday is my husband. If I'm off, cause I took the whole day off from work, he usually likes me to go shopping with him. So I'm thinking I'm going to do my live at like nine or 10 o'clock Pacific time in the morning, um, to not mess with our day. So, um, Again, I will put the announcement. Shadow. I was a squirrel this time, I think. <laughs> um, I will put the announcement on the announcements page on my channel, on my Instagram, um, in at least a week ahead of time so y'all can, can see. I um, have some questions ready. I'm hoping to convince my oldest daughter to kind of sit with me so she can keep an eye on the chat. Um, and what I'll be doing for the live is I will be doing a um, a whip parade. And not just the whips that I've been working on, but some that I've abandoned and need to pick up again. So um, I'll be doing that. Now, I have one more thing to show. And here's a disclaimer. If you have not received your Halloween box from Brandy at Be Stitch Me, then you should probably turn this off now. And I will visit with you again in a couple of weeks. I appreciate you watching the video um, and don't forget to enter in the giveaway on this video for the two charts that I posted. Um, and if you would like to see what was in the freaking amazing Halloween box from Brandy at Be Stitch Me, get ready. Okay, hopefully everybody who has not um received theirs has turned us off sorry for the crinkling are you guys ready 
for the absolute amazingness. So this was Brandy's first box. Um, I did not know what was going to be in it. Um, I did help her get in touch with Anna from Stitch Tool Box because she is my long distance bestie and she makes amazing stuff. And then I did get her in touch with Deanna at Cherry Hill Stitcheries because um, I love her charts and I figured that would be a good collaboration. So um, the three of them put together an absolutely amazing box. And if you love this, she has a winter box available and I'll put her websites always linked down below. Um, I think the deluxe is sold out, but I think the other two options are still available. So if you love the Halloween box, then um, definitely go claim a winter box. So to begin with, I'm going to show you all the small stuff that came in it. This was crazy. So she sent a pack of needles. These are Bowen's. And these are 28s. And then, so here's one needle minder. And it's a little pumpkin. And that's cute. So we got a needle minder. And then this is from Anna at Stitch Toolbox. And she made this. Another needle minder. Anna also, sorry for the crinkle because I didn't open all of these um, because I wanted to keep it all together. This was also made from a Stitch Toolbox for scissors. And it has like a little witch on the bottom of it. Okay. So Anna does make scissor fobs and thread keeps besides bags. Um, floss drop holders so you can go check out hers is always linked down below to her Etsy shop so she made this and then Anna made this is so cool so we got a little ring and then um, a whole bunch of different floss tags that she made that have like all different Halloween scenes on it. And then at the very end, it just has a um, project fabric and date information. So this is so cool. And again, Anna sells these in her shop, not these specific ones, but she makes them. And then Brandy included an afternoon Darjeeling tea. It's a black tea and a nighttime tea can't go wrong with tea. Tea is my favorite. I just like the Royal English like breakfast tea, just the regular tea. I was raised on tea and crumpets from my grandma. She was from England. Then we got a little kit. This will probably be a giveaway. Um, it's cute, but this is Persian pumpkin. And then there's so much. Oh my gosh. Um, I got the deluxe Halloween box, by the way. Uh, she sent a thing of Stitcher's lotion. I have this stuff and I love it. And she sent a candle. It smells so good. This is blood orange and it smells delicious. Y'all. She had a coffee mug made. Can you see that? It says be stitch me. I feel like it's not picking up. Look at that witch. And of course, a bunch of candy. Look at that. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We're not done. And then, we're not even to the fabrics yet. Um, I know that some of the fabrics are exclusive. I think she's only releasing two of the fabrics, I want to say. We got 10 yards. Look at all this silk. Look at that. Look at those colors. The, the names are Cauldron, which is the black, Brew, Witchy, All Lit Up, Pumpkin, and Blood Moon. I mean, look at those. Ugh. Brandy's silks are awesome. I'm collecting all of them. <laughs> of course 
excited. Okay, are you ready for the fabrics? Are you ready? All right, so the first one, again, these are all 18 count Adas, because you know me. This is Banshee. Look at that, oh my gosh. Brandy's fabrics are just awesome, look at that. Banshee. This is Witch's Brew. It's a very bright green with some mottled dark green. That looks just really good. Raven. Of course, this is my favorite. Look at that. I get the bigger cuts too. I just, I went all out. And the same for the winter box. I got the deluxe super crazy high-end box. Poison apple. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This looks like dirty uh dirty chalkboard with some purple. This might be one of my new favorites too. They're all my favorites. And then Headless Horseman. This has some, looks like some pink in it. I mean, she, for her first box, um, Brandy knocked it out of the park. Absolutely stunning box. Um, I cannot wait till the winter box. She is thinking about doing seasonal boxes as well, and they won't be as expensive or as filled as um, these boxes, I believe. Um, but she's working on those too. Just remember when you order from her, um, she is a one woman business. Um, and because of shipping and because of, you know, taking some time getting the fabric stock and the silk stock, that um, things are gonna be delayed. So just have a little bit of patience um she does have a facebook group too i am now the moderator of the facebook group for uh brandy at bestitch me that's where she hosts her friday night fight nights um so you'll see a lot more of me in that group as well uh, i just offered to help her out because um there were lots of you know comments happening and she doesn't always have the time because she's constantly dying fabric she also has a job and she also has several children that she needs to take care of as well um so she's got a lot on her plate so i just offered to help her out um but that is it this was just a eye candy haul video with a couple of giveaways thrown in since i reached three thousand. I'm just gonna trickle some giveaways throughout uh, some the next couple of videos. So, oh my gosh, Shadow. <laughs> Would not be a video without Shadow barking at something. Um, so watch for the announcements um, for Halloween, but I wanna say it'll be like nine or 10 a.m. Pacific time on Halloween. I will go live, have some questions ready. I'll be showing my whips. Um, and just chatting with everybody. So I'm super nervous about it. Super nervous about going live. But I think it'll be fun. So, And I want to keep some people company on Halloween um, before the evening. You know, when hopefully trick-or-treaters will come out. So, so until um, I post my video next week for the little tour. I don't, it's not going to be very long. I do not have a whole house full of stuff. But I'm pretty proud of the little decor that I did put up. So. I hope that you all have a great stitchy week. I hope that it's uneventful and that you can just relax and stitch because I hope mine is uneventful. We shall see. Um, but until then, happy stitching, everybody. Bye.